Hey, Lindsay. Lindsay, do you have a question? Grant's computer is muted. He's on a phone call. That's why you can't hear him, but you see his mouth moving. Much like I pretend a lot of the time. All right. Hey, guys, Matt and Trey, I'm literally on the phone with Matt and Trey now. They are hopping in right now. Um, I have to get on a phone call with an attorney in another state, but I have the meeting recording and I'll be popping in and out. And as soon as this call that I'm in is over with, I will be in here. But Matt and Trey got you handled, OK? All right, I just. Hey, Matt. Hey, Trey. Hey, Matt, can you talk to make sure everybody can hear? Matt, you got to unmute yourself, dude. There we go. Let's try right, that again. Awesome. Test, test one, two. Trey set it up. It's his fault. It's your computer. How's everybody today? They're all muted, Matt. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. All right, so KB Core, let me share my screen. Anybody have any questions on KB Core? So I kind of know where to go. Everybody's muted, I don't know. How to yeah, everybody's muted just so you guys can present and talk and there's no overlap in what you guys are saying and people asking questions. Um, I think if we could just kind of start, not necessarily from the beginning, but how are you guys leveraging KV Core for legacy? Sorry. So first off, one of the one of the cool things about KV Core is gonna be the smart campaigns. So under marketing tab, you go to your smart campaigns and you can set up and build out any kind of campaign that you want. Um, hey, can I stop you real quick? Go. Can you tell them first about the absorbent tasks? So one thing, you're probably being bombarded by tasks because a lot of these, when, when we first got KV Core, the status of all of these were on. And it was every lead that went in, it was making a task every week. There's also a feature to, which is really cool. You, it auto creates calls every day and you can set it up to make 10 calls a day, five calls a day, whatever, just depending on how many calls you're looking to make a day. Uh, I definitely recommend making at least 10 to 20 calls a day. Uh, but these are some of the campaigns that I've built out. A lot of people do the property boost. Um, so property boost, really, really cheap, quick and dirty, 45, 60 bucks, get you a few leads, Facebook targeted ads. Um, has everybody been doing that? So once a lead comes in from property boost, you wanna set it up to where when it has the hashtag property boost, and then you can build out your smart campaign however you want immediately i make it set up a call as a reminder just to call them because 
these leads aren't going to convert themselves. You really got to get on the phone with them. Uh, KV Core is not going to do all of the work for you, but it's really going to help organize everything just so you can be efficient at your job, right? And I make it change the status to prospect. And what we're doing is the voicemail drop. So that is in Marketplace. It's 20 bucks a month, this right here, the voicemail drop. It's pretty it's cool the stuff. Level. Yeah, the lowest level is $20 a month. It's uh, for 150 voicemail drops per month. And you can, you can see up here that it says um, 150, 250, 500, you know, and just kind of price increases from that side of it. Who's, who's asking the question? Kathy said something. Yeah, I mean, it's really whatever works for y'all. Uh, there's there's no set number of calls that you have to make per day. It's just that's that's what I find works. Just 10 calls a day. It's real easy. Knock it out in an hour. Time block. Get it done in 30 minutes. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, so they come in from Property Boost right away. I, I got a little bit of a delay on mine. So after five minutes, I think I think I got it at five minutes. Let's see. Property boost lead. They're getting hit with a voicemail in five minutes after they register on our website. Hey, this is Matt, one percent list. Saw you registered on our website looking at properties. Wanted to reach out, just see what kind of questions you have. I don't I don't know exactly what I have in the voicemail. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it shows up as a missed call, and then they're getting a voicemail. Then they're getting a text. So I got them texting this and this is this is really easy to build out if anybody has any needs any help building out a smart campaign let me know uh, it's it's really really easy all you do is just add an action and then you can do an email sms tax call any anything there yes all right lisa just let us know when you need help Let's, with that <laughs> why don't you just go ahead and, and show how to build out a smart campaign like i think that's that's one yeah. of the most beneficial sides of it and and also one of the things that i like is like for me sitting down <laughs> and, and this might be the same thing for some of y'all sitting down in front of a computer and making calls for me doesn't it's just it's hard for me because my brain's going a, a thousand miles an hour. Um, I have it set up for my Mississippi for sale by owners for Hattiesburg area. They come, they actually, the system calls me and says, do you want to call this person um, automatically? And it tries that three to four times um, over this a three day span. And so if I'm busy right this second, I can't call, but then I'll get another one the next morning. And then I'll, it'll force me to make those calls when sitting down in front of a computer, I can find about 10 other things to do. And so for me, that's an option for other people like Matt. Matt doesn't like that. Matt wants to sit there and, and make a list and do it that way. So there's various options for you to choose from and just what suits your nature the best. Right. 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 So ad campaign. So you would assign it to whomever. So I'll start with myself. Uh, you want to have how the campaign starts. So one that's really easy, you could do the trigger. So anytime a hashtag is added, and then you can add that hashtag. So it could be FISBO, it could be property boost, just depends on how the leads are getting funneled to your KV core system. So let's say it's for sale by owner or FISBO. We got a FISBO hashtag, always run yes, next. Then this is designed for sellers, next. FISBO, FISBO, always run, next, finish. Now what you're gonna do, oh crap, I should have named it something with an explanation point. So here's the one that I just made. So you want to go into it, and this is where you just add your actions. Um, I like doing the call. So run immediately. You name the task, new FISBO call. 
And so exactly. here's in, in and where what he's talking about right now is where you can actually distinguish whether you set a task for you to call them or the action setting says call me and it initiates a call to the assigned agent yes so that was that so you could see this call me that trey's talking about um you can do any amount of calls over three days so you can make it call you three times a day uh it, it just depends on preference i mean this is something we're constantly playing with it tweaking it just to see what works um so you could save it and then you could see two calls over three days so when you log in this is the first thing you want to check um today here's my calls for the day so you can go into the app i i, I don't think i can pull up an app but the app actually has a dialer it's going to have all your calls for today and you can just click click call click click call and then just go through them take notes see what they got going on you can see i put like no answer Does a lot of have the app installed on their phone yeah the app is it's very beneficial the app actually does a lot more than what i've seen with other crms um <clears throat> and you could ask trey that's that says a lot for me to say that a lot <laughs> all right so here's what my fisbo plan is I'm not really using this one because we're not really calling FISBO. So right, right away, it names it new FISBO lead, creates a call, and then right away, it's sending a text. So I, I do a little bit of a delay. So you can see here, I did a three-hour delay on this text because right out the gate, they're already getting bombarded more than likely. I felt like three hours is kind of where it actually feels like a person's texting it, you know? um you could do three hours you could do the next day you could do a couple of days later it just depends on when you find that they're responding the most yeah. right yes so right here on minute five i'm i'm that voicemail drop i can't recommend that enough that's 20 dollars a month just to send out 150 voicemails you could even go in let's see. And send out mass voicemails yes so my leads if anybody's good with video i would recommend doing the uh bomb bomb add-on too so i mean you, you could just click a button if this would work there it goes why is this being it's getting Core's running a little slow. There it is. So then you can send voicemails. I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you. And then it goes. You can have a list of. You can have a list of as many recordings and voicemails that you want to put together. Hey, you know, look forward to working with you. Thanks so much for. For coming in, if you have any questions or, or calling me, if you have any questions, call me. You know that sort of thing. Uh, I'm here to help. You, you can you can have a plethora of different voicemails queued up, ready to go, and you can just send them. And you can add it to your campaign. I mean, you can do two weeks after they've been on the market. Hey, this is Matt with One Percent List reaching out wanted to see how your sales going are you getting the activity you would like you could choose whatever you want to put in there and you can add it to your campaign with a two-week delay because a lot of times fizbos they want to try try the market see how it goes in two weeks you can just automate that whole thing through a campaign which is really cool um and you can see like property boost i got a couple different texts that i send um what were some of the other things we should dive into? I'm gonna, I want to point out the, the drop of all text. This is one of my favorite texts. Yeah, so when you're building out your um, content, you could put that little, I don't even know, what's that called? That button? Uh, asterisk, or not asterisk, I don't know, quotations, I think. 
Um, so when you put that, you, you can put the agent full name, you could put the client name or the, the lead name, and then it'll automatically plug in what their name is, what your name is. Um, but yeah, this is this is the one that Trey likes. That's, that's my favorite. Because 90% of people, like, if you're, you're kind of adding a little bit of psychology to it in terms of, you know, they don't want you to feel bad because they're not responding. And if they're not responding to you, if you put this in here and say, hey, I, I just want to make sure that I'm not dropping the ball for you, a lot of times you will get a response from that person because they, they just don't want to be the cause of somebody else failing or the cause of you not doing your job right. Yeah. And one of my favorite texts to send is I, I send it from a number where I haven't texted them already. I'll text them and say their say their lead name. They're, it's Trey, right? I just send them a text. Hey, is this Trey? Question mark. That's it. That's going to be the text message that gets the most response because they're going to feel obligated. They're going to they're going to want to know who it is. Who is this? Why are they texting me? And I like to send that from my iPhone so they see that it's iMessage. Uh, and then once they reply, they're going to reply more. Uh, so that's one thing that I find that works too. Little little secret there. Uh, I got Craigslist. Another. Personally, entering them. So we're using um, we're using my plus leads, Jordan. Um, yeah. So you can do um, auto input on Fizbo's. So when you go to add a lead, um, I forget where it is. Yeah. So right away you can assign your smart campaign and then that'll automatically kick in whatever, whatever you have set up, whatever kind of lead it is. So from the lead input status, Jordan, like uh, when, when you go to um, lead Dropbox, uh, show them where the lead Dropbox is. Um, lead go, Dropbox. Yeah, so go to lead engine, all lead engine tools, and then all the way down, lead Dropbox. Okay, so this is where that you, you if you have places that leads come from, um, if you're not manually inputting them, um, and you have like lead sources that you're going to integrate into uh, KB Core. This is your lead Dropbox. This is ours is going to look if, if you if you're not a uh, an owner um, and you don't have admin, you're you're probably not going to have this team side, but you're just going to have this agent side. Um, and this is how to have leads automatically sync into your KB Core system. Um, so, and then you can create API tokens for various places. Uh, the one thing that we use is, is my plus leads for, for sale by owners that auto populate into our account. Um, there's red X, there's a number of different, there's red X is Vulcan seven. There's, there's, uh, I think there's ready connect. There's very, various ways that you can do it. Mojo sells it with their dialer. Um, so there's a lot of it that, that you can get out there, but my plus leads is the cheapest version. Um, was it? Thirty dollars a month or twenty dollars a month, something for, like that, for like yeah. a fifty mile radius. For a fifty get, mile radius, and you can you can get them all just integrated into your system. Um, and we kind of mix it up from Smart Number. Uh, if you do it through the app, you can call and text from your cell phone. Um, tell Lisa, Lisa, we don't we don't have a Smart Number currently. We did not buy one, but it's uh, something you, we're looking into. It gives you a number. Um, it's the company number. Yeah, I do calls from that. I do calls from my cell, mostly my cell, because when you're using the dialer, when you go to call a lead through the smart number, it has to call your phone. You have to answer the phone. You have to hit a number. Then it calls. Whereas if you use the dialer on your phone, it's just click, click, and it's call because it's yeah. directly from your phone. And I'd rather have them have my cell phone number. Um, only benefit to the smart number when you do that through the dialer it's recording the conversation so you can listen back to that conversation so that's beneficial hey what do we talk about but if you're taking notes of how the call went 
hey, they just got married. So you could call them back in six months. Hey, y'all back from the honeymoon? How was the wedding? It just makes them feel special. Like you really remembered what you were talking with them about, right? Um, one cool thing that KV Core does, I'll do this right now. Uh, I got a couple new listings that I got to post to Craigslist. So, wait. so you go to listings, my listings. You have to add the KV Core plugin to Google Chrome. I uh, haven't done this one yet. So you can anybody can post to Craigslist um, and get free leads from Craigslist. So you pull up the listing that you want to post and post to craigslist it like auto joe oh, it hold on i'm gonna share that other screen yeah let me do the entire screen yay How's it doing this? All right, cool. So it generated the perfect home, home in Terrytown, and it just got the verbiage text here for more pictures of this property and publish. And done. That's a listing on Craigslist. That fast. So. The Zardy. Oh. <laughs> so this is this is just a really easy way. And then Craigslist, what happens with Craigslist? After 45 days, the lead the the post expires. So you do have to go in and redo them. I haven't gotten much from Craigslist, but it's also just another exposure piece. Um, I don't think I posted. I don't even know which ones I posted, but that it's really easy. Um, what else you want to dive into? So another big thing, if anybody's doing any kind of property boost, you want to get them set up on an e alert, and that's going to automatically email listings within the same kind of criteria that they're looking at. Um, let's see, e alerts is huge. Yeah. So right here. This came in. So to set up a new search alert, you just click add. You can name it. You can do whatever. You can set it up to where it's every time a new listing hits ASAP or daily. I usually just do daily. So they're only getting like one email a day, not multiple emails. You don't want to get unsubscribed. Um, and you just type in the areas. Right now. Boom. What are they looking for? You can do single family up to 350. Yeah, three beds, two baths. Boom. So you can set the alert. Usually, what I do is I text the results too, and then they're going to get automated listings from you until they unsubscribe um i'm gonna delete this one because this was a madisonville buyer i was just so showing that as an example uh and then kv core whenever you get a buyer that is actively looking on your website it texts the person for you uh let's see i want to see especially if they revisit after so many days they get an automated text like um like a follow-up text. I don't even know what it text. <laughs> I know this guy's just and I hope nobody's stealing my lead information here. Oh come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs down. Uh, I thought it texted him. <laughs> I'm kidding, Gabby. 
<laughs> I mean, you can see he's, oh yeah, look. Hey, Benjamin, I saw you were checking out some specific listings on my site. Is there anything you would like to know about? Feel free to let me know. And I mean, I didn't do that. I, don't, I didn't even. Yeah, so it's got some automations in there whenever they um, revisit. So I did it again here. So if you got a buyer lead that comes in, the most important thing you can do is set them up on a search alert. And I mean, you can just wing it, whatever. Usually what I do is, all right, they're looking in Covington. We're going to do 50,000 below what they were looking at and 50,000 above. Good spread, three beds, two baths. Send it. <laughs> um, when you get listing leads, the listing valuation, I've heard this is a little off. Um, it's pretty much off. It's it's kind of like a zestimate that automatically sends them stuff. Um, good way to stay top of mind, but if the information that it's sending is bad, they might think you're actually sending that. Like, and that could go bad. Market, market reports, reports are pretty cool. cool, so you could set this up: listing lead, buyer lead. Um, you got Kathy. Okay, so I use that Zestimate as a lead in to a conversation. Yeah. I follow yeah. that estimate up with a conversation. How um, accurate do you think the estimate was? Well, if, it, whether, it's, whether it's accurate yeah, or not, Kathy, I really like the fact that you're, you're, you're leading up to that, using yeah. that as a, as a conversation piece, because that's what it's designed for. It's designed to get them talking to you. And look, no response. I mean, any response to that is a good response because they're actually responding to you, right? And so, like, if it's low, they're going to go, oh, it's hey, that's way low. And you're like, you know what? You're right. That is an automated um, valuation through a third-party site. And if you want, I can come out take a look at the property and get you a more specific valuation for your needs. And that's the biggest thing that you want is you want to open that line of dialogue. And I, I've, I've went in and like plugged my own email in on these just to see what kind of reports it does. And this, the, uh, the market report, it's just, it's pretty vague. It'll have like how many homes were listed, how many sold, and you can set it up. Like, let's do Chalmette. Boom. And you can set it every week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever. And then it's just it's just another way to just automatically stay top of mind. Um, so, yeah. What other specifics and questions? Oh, and by the way, Lisa, Ben, um, Stacia is using that smart number. And it's something that we've we just hadn't had a chance. Me and Matt hadn't had a chance to talk about and go to um, yet. But if you want more specifics on the Spark number, you can talk to Station. She is using that. I'd be curious to know how that's going, Station. We're, we're probably going to be talking to her soon too. Yeah. We've been using it for about uh, a month now, minimum. Yeah, I, I started it about two weeks. No, two three weeks ago. I oh, guess two three weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. So it just assigned a new number to me. So it's not the um, the same as everybody else's. And I just did it for my personal account, not for the office Okay. for now, just to kind of test it out. But um, yeah, I mean, in my phone, I have it as KV Core. So when it texts me, I know where it's coming from. Yeah. I like to call from myself. If you open up, it's it's from the app yeah so you open up the app i wish i could screen share this you're supposed to be able to with max but, well you know what you might be able to if you do it through uh if you sign on so you can see at the bottom dial now you hit dial now and then that's that's going to call from your cell phone so I like to just do that just so they're getting the cell phone. 
You don't have to explain, oh, I have this number, this number. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, one of the biggest things is just staying on top of the calls, too, because if, if you get bombarded with, like, a bunch of past due calls, you're not staying on top of it. So usually what I do is I usually try to call them at least five times and until they answer. Uh, there's no right or wrong there. I mean, when I was doing more buyer heavy, I was calling them 10 times before they answer, just before I ruled them out. That was like my rule, if you will. Um, so yeah, when you go in, you call them. If they don't answer, make a new call for tomorrow. Call them again tomorrow. Try them at a different time. Um, just play with it. But that's really, oh, we got the, uh, uh, what you gonna call it? So when you're doing a post on Facebook and you're sharing a squeeze page, so you could do a single property squeeze page. Um, let me show you what that looks like. This is gonna show up. Just put butterfly. Don't put sound. Nope. There we go. This is one of our listings here. So when you're doing a post on Facebook, this is going to give you a specific hyperlink. Um, what you want to do, change this to immediate and then generate a link. Now, instead of this long direct link, you're doing a little bit of a shorter link. It just looks more professional in a Facebook post. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. It just brings you right to the website. And then they have to register. So when you set it up on immediate right away, you're requiring them to put their phone number and email. And any of these leads that come in, I mean, they're worth calling them. The sooner you can call them, the better. Because if you call them within five minutes, they're more than likely looking at this property still. Hey, I see you're looking at 117 Clara. What's going on? You looking to get pre-approved here? I mean, whatever your buyer spiel is. Uh, that's really it. Hey, on that squeeze page. Now, if you go back to your listings page real quick, go to my your list. my listings and click on one of your listings, Butterfly. Okay, you see on the right hand side it says direct link. Go down, look down, oh, yeah, you right see here. right there? Yeah. You can copy that. Oh, that works too. <laughs> that is your hyperlink. That's easier, actually. Yes. Nice That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that works. That way you don't have to create it every time. Yeah. But yeah, property boost is also, I mean, you could do that right here. Property boost. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one just to show them. Yeah. So property boost, this is a Facebook ad. You can kind of set the criteria. Um, you can set where you want it to go, which website. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that because that doesn't have, should I add anything? I don't know what to add about that one. Perfect starter home, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. A oh, great starter home. That will say perfect. So you could display the price. I'd say do that. You could do an image overlay just listed. Yep, we're going to do it just list it. Um, and then boom. That's how easy it is. And now it runs for what, two weeks? Uh, I think it's a week on a the week? $60. Week on 60. If you do. Go show. Um, yeah, so you can see some of the ad performances that we get. Oh, it's gone. What? 
uh, uh, what you call it, uh, pocket. Oh yeah, because it, it expired. It expired. Um, I had one where I did a lifetime ad. It was two hundred and fifty dollars, and I had the seller pay for it. I just, all, I just kind of pitched it to him. Hey, if you want some added exposure, here's one thing that we can do for you. Uh, and I, I showed him the tears. I was somebody's blowing us up. I'm taking. Hello, it's Frank. So it was 250 bucks and he got some added exposure. You can go in when you do the property boost, you can add seller information. So they see the ad performance. I mean, he had, it was, it did really well. It was a listing in Gentilly. I wish I could show you. All right, hold on. I think I could find it. There we go. So yeah, you can see this lead right, this one right here, it had 55 leads come off of it. It looks like sometimes the cheaper 200, 250, 300, those are gonna get more leads off of them. Um, yeah, so then they come in from Property Boost and then they hit your KV Core and you whatever smart campaigns you guys set up, let it roll. I think that's really all I do on it. Um, let me see. I got a little note here. Yeah, that's that's really all I do with KV Core, guys. Um, we're still playing with it. There is a lot of. Uh, different lead add-ons that you can do. So some of these we're going to start doing, probably going to start doing this sm smart social leads. And you can also do like Google pay-per-click. Um, just haven't really ventured out to it yet. But we will. Uh, I've heard nosy neighbors really good. That's a, uh, it's expensive though. It's like $750 per month per zip code. But every time something's listing, list it, it spams the neighborhood and it's just, hey, this was just listed. And it sends a postcard with a QR code specific to that address. So then when they scan that QR code, you know exactly what property inquired about it. Um, there's videos on it. We don't have to watch the videos, but I mean, yeah, that's uh, that's KV Core. That's really what I do. Just staying on top of the calls. Um, stay on top of your task. Make task. I mean, you can see I like to stay on top of it. Make notes. Um, any questions? Question for later. Are you forwarding any previous website domain? We, we've just been using the one that comes with KV Core because if you get a registration on it, it just automatically feeds back into the KV Core. It just syncs better. Anything else you want? I mean, uh, I, I, I understand what Lindsay's asking. Like, we're using our, our 1% list legacy.com forwarding address um no we we still have our our legacy address um with our traditional website our our one percent list website and then we're using the kv core website um to have things linked into kv core so like when we're sharing um the properties or anything like that um that goes to the kv core and then we have our standard site that comes through yeah KV Core is connected to that website, so they just communicate better. Um, you're gonna you're gonna see when they're saving homes, when they're actively looking a lot more. Obviously, that's gonna be worth a call. Um, I forget where to. Let's see, marketing, smart campaigns. We're gonna hear about real quick. Let me see. Is that is that the one percent list website, Lindsay? 
Okay. That's her that's that's her one percent list website. Um there's a couple of things that you can do, guys, like on your websites. If you want to to change out and station knows a little bit about this too. And that's I don't know why this is uh that's that's Amanda. They somebody locked the bottom lock at the at pine cone. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, okay. North Shore is misspelled. Got it. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're really not even using that website. Um. I'm sure you can if you did like some Google pay per click through KV Core. One thing that's really cool about KV Core, they only charge ten percent. Um of your spend per month so if you're spending a thousand dollars a month you're not paying a five hundred dollar service fee you're actually getting nine hundred dollars towards your google pay-per-click um that's okay well yeah i mean that's that's a great custom website i mean if you're boosting that on google pay-per-click and you were to do something through kv core to boost it by all means, I would just want to make sure that this is set up with KV Core, so that way when somebody registers, they're going into KV Core. Um, it might just be easier just to use the website. Okay. Hey, Matt, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hey, my question was, I'd, I don't need to keep this website. I'm totally fine with the website that comes with KV Core. But I like my domain, like keep your equity northshore.com, and it's on my business cards, it's on some flyers. Uh -oh. And so my question is, can I just keep the domain and have it link to I'm wondering if you guys did that, like keeping your domain, but having it direct people to your KV core website. And and if if y'all did that, like how did you do that and who did you call and how much does it cost and all that stuff? I think you can do that. I think you can still use the domain. Um all you I don't have to do is called. go to GoDaddy. Lindsay, you got it through GoDaddy? Yes. Okay. You just go to GoDaddy. And then what you're going to be doing is forwarding that domain to your KV Core yep. URL. Oh, and great. You don't have to pay for anything. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Okay. There was a way to change the website name too. I don't remember where that was. That is um, direct with KV Core. You can actually change and have a vanity URL for, I think it's $11 a month, but honestly, it's just as easy to go in the back end of your GoDaddy account and just have your website forwarded to your KV Core site. Yep. This is it right here, the vanity domain. Let's work. Sorry. I want to keep the domain, but I don't want to pay for it. We talked about it. Oh, gotcha. So good there. Um, any other questions? There's, and, and there's a couple of things. Like, if you want to modify or, or, or make your site a little more specific or anything like that, um, you can pay to have your site altered. Um, yeah. They, have to fully custom uh, they, they do have the option to fully customize your website. Um, it's it is pricey. Yeah, they don't have the price. Um, it, it is pricey. I've done it in the past um, when I was with a different brokerage. Um, so you can pretty much spend what you want to spend. I just find this website to be just fine. You know. Have y'all added any widgets to it? No. Okay, I'm going to shoot you mine if you want to show it, just so I mean, people. Stacia, do you want to share your screen real quick, and so you can sit, show everybody what you got? I don't um, even know you can add widgets. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you can add widgets on it. Um, I'm just going to send it to you because I'm computer stupid right now. Hold we'll on, just... I've got too many tabs open. I'll send it to Matt. What 
Let's throw your website domain in the chat, and we'll just pull it up. I just sent it to Matt. Okay. What'd you say? Oh, there, text. Okay. Hold on. Oh, you're showing everything right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want me to put it in the chat? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I making thought it was sure, here. Sure, you didn't pop up all that profanity you cussed at me this morning. All right, I got it. I'm kidding. He didn't. All right. If you job. if you scroll down, just keep scrolling. And right here, featured areas. Uh, yeah, yeah. All of those are widgets. And it took me about five minutes to set each of them up. Cool. Did we did we do that, Trey? We can. It's real simple to do. Yeah, I like. Did it. you plug in all those all those pictures yourself? Yes. But look, if you go to like if you go to your platform real quick, to your back end right there, go to um, Web and IDX. Web and IDX to the left. Okay. No, just click on. Yeah. Okay. Now go. Wait. No, you were right where you were. Okay. Um, embeds. I think it is. Oh, go to embed in the side. Embeds. Under Web and IDX, you go to embed. At the top, go up, embeds. Oh, okay. Go to, no, go to widgets. Widgets. <laughs> Widget. No, up top, widgets. Widget. Yeah. Okay, and you see where it says featured area? Yeah, you just add it. Hit add, and then go to edit, and you literally add a picture. Like area name, you can go by city. That's really cool. It's very you, cool, and it takes you get hyper or you get hyper focused on that too. Yes, you can. Oh, you I actually, BD Code Creek. I actually mapped out the you entire. Draw it on a map. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And you, you can, can you share that? You can share that as a link too, right? Yes. And you could add a squeeze page to that. It is already, yeah. So basically, it's a, a squeeze page already. That's cool. See current listings in Edico Creek or Timber Ridge or. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you only can, I think you can only do nine widgets on there. Which should for be. For the featured plenty. area. That's cool. You can do multifamily. You just listed. Featured listings. That's pretty cool. Financing. Oh, you have to set up all your featured listings, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like it just. I like the financing widget. That's cool. And these are all free. So people can build out their pages as much as they want. They have videos on all of this in the support and training. If you just go up to the, you know, support and training videos and just kind of type in what you're looking for. It took me just a few minutes to watch one of the videos to figure that out. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. That's one cool thing about KV Core. The more you dig, the more you learn what it does. Um, what else we got, guys? What, who else has any other questions? Has anybody got any success stories? Don't everybody jump in at once. <laughs> Well, I can say, look, my lead source has gone up significantly since I started adding the KV Core website link to all of my posts, my Facebook posts. And what I did is in the back end, I changed it to where they can view three properties before having to register. And I getting a much higher increase in registration. Yeah, and but and probably more so in terms of um, 
actual valuable leads that way because if they're if they're gonna look at three properties and then register they're yeah. more serious they're a little more serious than your manual register yeah absolutely because the ones that look at one picture and they register and it, you call them and it's just i was just looking and then they hang up and then they start cursing you and well it also <laughs> stops the people from commenting on the facebook page why can't you just give us the link instead of making us register? So it yeah. just eliminates yeah. that as yeah. well. Yeah, that's a, true. I like that. Very true. But uh, what else? Um, anything else? Yeah, I've gone over everything that I do. Uh, it's linking it on the back end i mean we we do some realtor.com leads so realtor.com leads those are those are very speed to lead that's the name of the game with realtor.com leads the last like four realtor.com leads have actually called me because they had a voicemail and a missed call that showed up hey matt sorry i missed your call i love it yeah don't 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 knock those voicemail those drops because they they uh they work. Uh, Has anybody got anything that they're seeing in the market that's working for them? Even outside of KB Core, just wanted to. Anybody got some success stories like that? I don't even know what dash CMA is. Pretty much an instant CMA. But no, there's all these all these add-ons. It's it's we're still playing with it, trying to learn different things. Um, that's about all we got. Unless you got something else you want to add, Trey. I don't. I don't have anything else on it. I think that's pretty much what we're doing to see success in KV Core. But yeah, set up the smart campaigns. Um, voicemail drop. That's a really cool one. You could do the video. Yeah. Anything else? Kelly, you got anything? I have a question. Jordan, go ahead. Can't we add a different, like a whole different page to KV Core? What do you mean? Like a website? No, like, um, well, I, <laughs> to be honest, this is the second time I've logged into this, but I really need to start utilizing it um, because what I want is, it's here it just i don't i'm not using it yet like i want to start doing um postcards to all current listings and just listed just sold um and then i'm pretty sure that there's a way that i can add for the first what 50 mile radius or that neighborhood um for it to automatically send out is that true so that is what's that called that's in here um, they got the handwritten postcards. Oh. No, only time we've done also the, the 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 what's the other one up top? Well, uh, nosy neighbor. Nosy neighbor. It's pricey. Nosy neighbor's a little pricey, but um, is that the one that it sends out though? For yeah, it does the digital farming. It does the QR code. It lets you know when they scan the QR code. So, you know, you, you actually get feedback on what you're doing, you know, and, and, the, and the, the ones that go out. Um, so you actually you actually get some feedback on every person that gets them. You know. And that's only for my listings or is that for any listing within a you can kind of you can personalize it and target it. I believe it's any listing. 
if something sold in a neighborhood oh i don't think you can i think it's it's just hers um jordan you're in our area and I, this is this is I, I can't speak on this for other areas um but for the greater new orleans market um there's another option to do postcards through remind um a lot cheaper you can you can target neighborhoods and stuff like that and they're as low as like i believe 49 cents a postcard mailed okay and you just get the graphic from uh, right. uh from ren yeah now jordan you can have the page built out your website built out more for like let's say a seller page since kv core doesn't have a seller page basically i mean if you click on sell your home it comes up to that um, box for people to get what their home is worth. You can have a page built out. It does cost money though, but they can they can add an actual full page, like the home value leads. Yeah. That's well, just like works. basically, they can mirror our um, our office pages. The only thing they can't do is the slider bar. Mm, okay. We haven't even dove into that with KB Core either. But yeah, that's all. That's all I got. Still learning it myself. Uh, it's exciting though. Uh, the automations is really good. All right, guys. <laughs> Any uh, anybody else have any questions? Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yes, thank y'all. This was really helpful. I've been like super, super procrastinating. I've been procrastinating so much doing this, and this really motivated me to get it going. Life keeps happening, you know, but um, oh, I'm excited it. to get into. This. I get it. But yeah, one thing you're going to want to do is probably turn off those smart campaigns because you'll get bombarded with tasks because some of those campaigns are on every lead, creating a task every week, follow up with follow up with follow up with. So then you got like 10 tasks per lead. So then you have a hundred different notifications here on what you got to do. So yeah, this, uh, this little button right here, this is your notification. This is who you need to call do today. You can see all the scheduled calls, calls coming up. Um, stay on top of that. I mean, that's that's really what it's there for is just to manage the follow-up, the money's in the follow-up. Can you show one more time real quickly how to turn that off? So go page. to marketing and then smart campaigns. And then you're gonna wanna toggle the status to either okay. on or off but Thank most you. of the most of the ones that when you first get it it's going to have every single one on and you can see right here create call create call change status email and look through them you can kind of see what some of them are set up to do and use the ones that you find fit you know it's it's I like I, I like them a little simple. I like just a little bit like for the first week or so. I really don't like to do too, too long because then it comes off automated, especially because KV Core adds that at the bottom to uh, reply stop to unsubscribe. I hate that it does that. That's the only thing that I don't like about KV Core. So is what it is. Because I get a lot of people that reply stop. And then you can't call them. I mean, then you can't text them, but I still call them. But yeah, guys, I hope this was helpful. If y'all have questions, feel free to reach out. Trey's on the phone. I don't think he had anything else to add. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. No problem, man.
All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good one.